Hamas rejected an Egyptian proposal for a ceasefire with Israel on Tuesday, moments after the Israeli cabinet accepted the plan. Our people in Gaza must come to the realization that such idiotic decision-making forces the Gaza Strip and its people to pay a very steep price in martyrs and, unfortunately, in bloodshed in vain with no prospects for victory. There's no question what's happening here. Israel just started their response a few days ago. Hamas has been doing this since 2005. Their identity comes from being the violent resistance. Since Israel pulled out of Gaza in 2005, 8,000 rockets have been fired from Gaza into Israel. Instead of building the Palestinian people up, they have committed themselves to tearing Israel down. I feel terrible for a Palestinian child who dies. If it's your father, your brother, your uncle who is firing those rockets into Israel, whose fault is it really? Hamas was perfectly well aware of what would happen if they started raining rockets into Israel. And they have a strategy designed to force Israel to kill their own civilians so that the rest of the world will condemn them. For the Palestinian people, death has become an industry at which women excel, the elderly excel, and so do the children. This is why they have formed human shields of the women, the children, the elderly, and the Mujahideen. We are doing everything in our power to not hit buildings nearby. We want to make sure beforehand that there are no civilians in the vicinity. We call on our Palestinian people to remain in their homes and disregard the demands to leave, however serious the threat may be. Hamas is exploiting our concern for human life by hiding in Palestinian homes, schools and mosques and using the basement of a hospital in Gaza as its headquarters. Why do you, in the Al-Qassam brigades, hide among civilians? Why do you use people's homes? You should keep your hideouts away from people's homes. The spokesman of Hamas going on Palestinian television, urging people to serve as human shields. I believe this strategy is proving itself, and we, Hamas, call on our people to adopt this practice. Hamas is targeting the supply lines of its own people. Let me be clear. Hamas is targeting the only crossing through which food, medicine, and other essentials enter Gaza. What moves us is the whistling of bullets, the sound of bombs and missiles exploding for the sake of Allah. This is music to our ears. This is our anthem, our songs. Until we're one of the